morning, good night, wherever in the world you are. Hello. All right, so today I'm going to be showing you how to draw like a, um, a beer bottle cap, right? So firstly, we start with the star tool. You click on the left here where you have like this shape. And you click on your hole, you go down to the star tool, right? There's no keyboard shortcut, so you have to do it this way. All right, so now you're on the star tool, right? Um, so you're clicking on the artboard and then they will ask you how much points you want to put on the star right so you could use your discretion so for today i would um i would choose about 30 right so you backspace that all right so you're holding shift you're clicking on your dragon but you don't want the star to look like that so you have to click you have to press shift what is this i'm holding here shift command and drag in and out right so you keep on dragging until you get a shape like this all right yeah i think that should be good enough and then we going up to the align panel align to artboard align it to the center then align it align vertically align center and vertically and horizontally align center let's make it a little bigger you drag any hole in shift and alt to make it bigger from the center right so you see these inner points here these inner points you will have to curve them in like this to make it look more like a bottle cap right so using the direct selection tool which is this arrow here or you could press A which is the keyboard shortcut and you click in all the inner points right going around clicking all the inner points this is gonna take some time eh? so you'll have to be a little patient with the process oh yes and you're holding shift while, while you're clicking each point so that um you're selecting all of them at once right and you see this dot here you're dragging that to curve those lines right so now you're going to the other outer points you hold long shift and you click as you go along to click more than one should better start over click click hold a long shift so every time you click you just add into the selection click 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 as i said before it's a time consuming process right there's no fast way to do this if you want to do it good and you click on the little dot and you drag it in all right so we kind of looking like a a cork there so next thing you're doing is you join a circle and then you're centering it to the artboard the same way yeah you can make it a little smaller all right so the next thing you're doing now is um <clears throat> You want to rotate it so that this space here is in the center. So you just click into the top corner of the shape and you turn. And you could even like um, draw a line. Draw a line and then center it with the artboard to see if like this perfectly centered here. Right? So you're making sure that this space here is in the center i'll show you why <clears throat> right so like to create dimension in our shape you have to add like light and shadow right so let me let me make the background back black so i'm going to add a square and i'm sending it to the back right and then this shape here could be this white remove the outline 
put this back black all right so now we're looking a little bit more like a cork right <clears throat> so we're gonna have you're gonna have light hitting the cork from two different angles so this will be the main light on top and then it would be a softer light on this side like a catch light like in photography right so what gonna happen is this groove here gonna be getting the most light and as you go to the left it will be getting less and less light as you go to the right it will be getting less and less light so we have to find a way to show that let me change this to red let me change this white shape to red so we could show the so we're gonna use white to represent light all right so what you're gonna be doing is uh, you keep drawing use the pen tool and you're drawing a line that correspond with each little bump right when you reach halfway you could stop to continue the line on this side it just hover over when you see that slash you can click on it and continue the line continue continue click 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 all right so you could direct select this point here a direct select this one and then align it to the top to align it to the highest point right so now we have the two sides even All right, so what we're gonna do now is make this into an outline. So what we're doing is we swap in the fill on the stroke color by clicking this thing on the left here, right? Or you could just press X. Actually, no, you can't press X. That's for something else. So we click in back on this line and we choose in white. Sorry. Choose in white to make the stroke white, right? Then you press NP for the pen tool and you're hovering over the line. And when you hold on the Alt button, you would see like this kind of phone looking shape by the cursor. And you're clicking and you're dragging it up to meet this point here, right? And that's what you're doing for, for all these points. You're clicking and you're dragging to make sure that it meet the edge of... The edge where the where the black meets the red, right? Nice. So we're doing the same thing on this side here. if you missed it um, using the pen tool the keyboard shortcut is P for pen and you hold any all button to bring up that kind of telephone kind of symbol all right I think this could come down a little bit so it would be center with the with this little bump here All right so when you finish you click off um, okay so I want to continue the shape here so I have a switch into the pen tool and I hover in over this point until you see the slash below the pen you click here and you close off the shape when you close off the shape you will see a little O next to the pen right Right, so you have our shape there so what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the intersection between this shape and this shape that simply mean wherever these two shapes overlapping it will create a shape right so what you're doing is you're copying the shape come on and see come on and F you're pacing it in front and you're doing the same uh, actually no you're not doing the same thing so you're just selecting that shape that you copied you're you're clicking this shape here that we created and we go into the pathfinder tool um we want to choose intersect hold on 
option and click this button and then you click expand right all right so so far so good um, right so we want to switch these the stroke color to the fill color so you just click in this button here right <clears throat> all right so remember we said that on this side you see this this bottom part here imagine there is like a light by this 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 circle here is the, this oval is the light so obviously it would be hitting this part this groove here the strongest and then this side of this groove here would be kind of shading this side here so this left side here will be getting less light than this entire shape here and as you go more and more to the left these shapes will be getting less and less light from this light here all right so to show that um we basically want to find a way to shade it in a way that it would look like these lights these these grooves to the left and these grooves to the right getting less light on it right so i'm gonna show you how to do that now so we take any pen tool click in this point and whatever we draw in here is what we subtract in from the light that is being <laughs> reflected on this surface here right so wherever you see in black we're going to subtract that right let me start over all right so we click in uh, actually change just uh change sorry change this on the pen to i'm gonna draw it first click here click here all right so we click in here this other point we're making it meet this edge here right we're bringing it back here um, making it meet this edge So now we're taking this black shape that we, we drew here and we subtracting it from this, this white shape here, right? Might look strange now, but when we finish, you would understand the effect that we're going for, right? By the way, command and plus is to zoom in, command and minus is to zoom out, all right? So zoom in, all right, so we're doing the same thing. But this time when we draw any shape, um, we're trying to make the light, the white area a little smaller. Because remember, the, the white area is showing the white area basically showing you how much light being reflected on the object. So instead of starting here on the edge, we'll go in here a little bit to the left, right? To the left. Draw any shape. One, two, three. Click on, click on drag to create that curve. Alright, select the two, minus. Doing the same thing again and it coming in a bit more. Alright, one, two, three. Click the two, the minus. All right. Come in even more than that. Come in about halfway now. One, two, three, four. This one here coming in more than halfway. One, two, three, four. Four. 
So now you see that when we're looking at it now, when you zoom out, you would see what I'm talking about. So as I go to the left, less and less light is being reflected onto the grooves here, right? So just to finish off this last one here. One, two, three, four. What you do now is you can make these even shorter now. It's all about using your creativity or to use your mind to figure out how light would hit an object and find a way to make the shading on the or the highlights on an object um, as realistic as possible. So maybe there's another way to do this. If you all find a way, feel please feel free to let me know in the comments. Alright. So what we could actually do now is hmm, I think we could delete these. Delete these and instead of having to draw these over on the right, what we could do is we could copy these here instead of giving yourself double work. You could copy these, right click, and you go to transform, reflect. Right, and all I have to do is zoom in and carefully line them up so that they would match up. You might have to rotate them a little bit to match up correctly. Zoom in, but trust me, this is definitely easier than having to draw them all over again. I think once, um, once they intersect in with the bottom here, yeah, that should be good. Um, so you see how they overlap in nice okay. So you could now select this red here, copy, paste it in front, and then select this. Sorry. Oh yeah, there's another trick here. So like let's say you have this whole shape here, but it's it's made up of different shapes. What you could do is you could double click on the shape to edit each shape individually. So like we just want we just want that shape that we um these set of shapes that we copy to the right we just want to isolate those alone right so you're selecting them you're cutting them which is command and x you're clicking to exit and you're piecing it in front right right so now you have these you could select them all and then combine them which is unite option click expand this red shape you know Oh yeah, well we already copied it. So you yeah, you're selecting this red shape and you click in. Wait, something wrong. No, no, it's alright. So we click in this red shape here and we click in this white one and we unite in. So that would get that would get rid of this excess here, right? So when you click and it intersect, you see it getting rid of it. Alright, so we perfect there now, right? I'm going to delete this circle here now. Alright, so we can now unite everything here. And instead of drawing this over again, copy, turn it, and paste it up here. I think you could delete, let's delete these two on the end here. Most likely they won't get any light from that arm. From that light, light source. Alright. So the next thing we want to do is... 
right on the edge here to the top here they're supposed to it's supposed to have like a highlight along this top here right so what we're gonna do is use the use brushes to show this highlight here right so what I like to do is I would um I would just switch this shape here to like an outline color so I would remove the fill which is the forward slash I choose X to switch it to the stroke and then I come across here to the color panel and excuse I choose white right so you zoom in in here the highlight would start the strongest here and then it would take off as it come in um, further away from the light so like you can add a point here you choose the pen tool wherever you see the plus sign you can add a point onto this line right you add another point across here you add one lower down here you add one lower down here and when you choose the direct selection tool which is a and you click on this point here you could delete that point from the line you do the same thing with this point I will say you delete that point from the line right and then you're going across to your brush panel and you're choosing a brush like this right but you want it white so this is the white equivalent you can't see it because obviously it's white on a white background so let me choose this here wrong alright alright so I know all you're probably wondering how the hell where it is go to get this brush so these are custom custom made brushes that I made right as you see it's entitled wet man thing <laughs> busy brushes I use when you want things to look wet alright so it's pretty simple so like you see these shapes here you're basically just drawing them out so like for example this first one here is exactly what this white one here that you can't see you just take the ellipse tool which is the circle tool ellipse the shortcut for that is l and you're basically just drawing out that shape um you change the filter white and in the brush brushes panel which is up here you click on um, new brush and then you choose add brush you press ok um, I don't think you have to adjust any of these um, options here you click ok actually let me use yellow so that you'll be able to see it better right yeah let me use yellow So you click on add new brush, add brush, okay, okay, right. So like any if if you use the brush tool while this brush is selected, this is how the line will you just click in and drag. If you have a mouse, you click and drag. If you have a pencil, uh, like um one of those pencil tablets, you click and drag. You could also use it with the pen tool where you draw a shape, and when you click over here it would take the shape of the brush that you just created so that's how i did this kind of highlight here i drew the circle i made a point here i made a point here made a point here made a point here i just doing exactly what i did before i'm gonna zoom in so they could see better this point here minus it direct selection a you click here and then you press backspace to minus the point and then you just click here and that's that's how you, how you get that shape so as i said that is exactly what i did with this highlight here and this highlight here the only difference is that um because the color is white you can't see it in this panel here all right so let me backspace all these yellow shapes that i just put here
All right. So I think on this side, um, to differentiate. All right. So this line, I want to expand it and transfer it from a stroke. So you go to object, expand. That way you could change the color, right? So with these two selected, I think I want to make them a darker shade. So like, uh, let's use red and let's change the cork to black. So we get a more realistic look there. And finally we could add like a circle center center change this to red. Select the whole thing and rotate it a bit. Um, add some text, cork, cork logo, no pun intended. I'm gonna choose hard line. Let's see how hard line looks. So yeah, I think realistic. Could always play around with the colors. You could always play around with the colors and see which one. as you like the most I think I wanna put on an outline So that's it for today's tutorial. Um, don't forget to like my page, follow me on Instagram, um, logoboss.wi. You could also subscribe to my YouTube channel where you would find more of these tutorials. Alright, so thanks for tuning in. See you guys next time. Alright, bless.